before, before I did this challenge, um, when I did read it alone, I would just kind of go over it, like, not read in depth, but just kind of skim through it. And I wouldn't really get the whole meaning, I just kind of get, an, uh, like, the outward shell of understanding it. And now I'm kind of, like, getting a little deeper because, of, you know, I'm writing it down and I can actually see what I wrote so it stays in my mind. Well, using scripture to pray actually is a little bit of a, like, kind of a boost, like, because you kind of know what to pray for, because it's telling you and it gives you ideas just what to pray for. Sometimes, like, when I do pray, I really don't know what to pray about. I'm, I, I kind of, like, get lost, sort of, and just feel kind of stupid. But uh, using this model, uh, it really helped me to, like, get my priorities straight about what I really wanted to pray about. You know, you can't turn on the TV these days without coming across a reality series. I mean, one of my favorites is Biggest Loser. What's interesting about Biggest Loser is contestants come from all over the nation and take part in really difficult challenges in order to lose weight. But they're really trying to become healthy. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be neat to have a reality series where we're not focusing on physical health, but we're focusing on spiritual health? And over the coming weeks, our student ministry is doing a series we call True Life. In True Life, we're taking cameras and putting them in the homes of students as we challenge them in their spiritual walks. You'll definitely want to watch this series as students grow and develop in their relationship with Christ. Whatever happens in my morning will affect the rest of my day.